hello my lovely people welcome to my channel before we get to the video please take your time to subscribe to my channel and like the video that every time the going gets high when she needs to be a mom she runs away i don't think my mother understand the gravity or the magnitude of the damage that was done by my sister what started as a very chilled episode ended in a very high note of anger it's unfortunate that this was the last episode of season two and we will not see what happened next until season three of life with kelly kumalu so this episode brought me back to the vibes of season one where kelly was constantly fighting with her mother for failing being a parent to her and her mother kept playing a victim and running away so the episode started with kelly cooking at her house with her mother reflecting on their journey to kzn and how they ended up not going to her grandmother's grave. Kelly's mom says she is done with the Kumalo family feuds and God will only make a way for her to forgive everything that she has been going through. Kelly also had a chat with Christian in respect of school and the progress that he has been making at school. And as far as things are right now, it seems Christian has been doing pretty good now that he's been going to therapy. Also, Tingo says she wants to go to therapy as well. And Kelly jokingly said she must continue being angry at her grandmother so they can take her to therapy for anger management. And lastly, before we get to the hectic part, Kelly went back to visit Miss Katiwe, who is a woman in Soweto that has been spiritually guiding her. She told her that ever since she acknowledged the gift that she has, she has so much peace to the point that even the things that are meant to shake her, they don't because she is so aligned with who she is. But Kelly took her mother to Anele, their family therapist, and reported on him on their progress that they had been making in making peace with one another. When they got to the therapy, Kelly says they were not able to see their grandmother's grave because one of the reasons is because her aunt wanted Zandi to be there when they go to the grave site. But Kelly was not having it because she and Zandi have unresolved issues that she blames her mother for because she has let them slide for a very long time. So now she blames her mother for not being able to go to her mom's resting place when they went to KZN. Kelly's mom is back playing a victim again. She blames her family history. She says even her grandfathers were not getting along. So the bloodline of family feud in Kumalo family is running in Kelly and Zand. But Kelly says this is not the truth. But her mother has failed in being a parent and especially in resolving this thing. She says had she caught it earlier and called her daughters into order, it would have not developed into what it is today. But rather her mother ran away and said God will intervene and kept praying but running away into facing the real situation. Kelly says her feud with Zandi has escalated and reached a point of no return. Kelly's mom also says she is scared of Kelly because when she is angry, she gets very loud and that scares her and triggers her past. She says she does talk to Zandi and Zandi says she regrets what she did to Kelly and misses her. But I don't believe that. I just think Kelly's mom wanted her to gravitate to her bringing them together and speak but that is what not what she actually does i think she's just lying to make it look like she is trying to do something about what is happening let me tell you and i'm gonna say this in front of my mother this whole thing of not stepping into the role of being a mother is not starting now. Okay. It started a long time ago when we were kids. My sister and I would get up to no good. My mother would literally tell us, It has been a thing of hers that every time the going gets high when she needs to be a mom, she runs away. Kelly says it amazes her that her family sees her as a rebellious person while she has carried her family throughout her entire life when they kept throwing things at her. Now it has gotten to a point where she has had enough. 
when Zandi embarrassed her to the whole country, she went home crying to her mom and she did nothing about it. Kelly's mom chose Zandi and ran away to KZN instead of fixing things with both of them. For me, it felt like my mother chose my sister over me. She was in KZN at a launch posing great to hell with the one that we've heard. Kelly says she hates what her mother stands for because anything her sister does, she carries on as if nothing happened. Kelly is still deeply hurt of what Zandi did to her to the point that she says she wants nothing to do with that girl. Nothing to do with that girl. She implied that she feeds my children. I fail. I fail to take care of my children. My mother is my witness. She's sitting here. If there's anyone who's taking care of anyone, it's me taking care of her. Now that she feels she's okay, she thinks she can piss all over me. Not even in private, publicly. So if you are doing this in public, it's you are not only after me, you are also after my career. Everything that I've built, that I've invested my hard work into. She says if she wants to apologize and reconnect with her, she must go back on social media and correct everything she lied about. And she was so hurt about the insinuation that Kelly is unable to take care of her kids. That's it for this video. Please leave your comments, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you around.